I'm a precision instrument of speed and aerodynamics. Most people can only fantasize about having pricey supercars or luxury automobiles. These insanely expensive vehicles are better referred to as hypercars or megacars because they go beyond sports cars and supercars. Let's look at some of the priciest cars ever sold. New cars and cars sold on auction. Before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss a thing. Number 1. 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Uhlenhaut Coupe According to RM Sotheby's, the 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Uhlenhaut Coupe has been sold at auction for a record-breaking sum of almost $142 million to a private collector. The car is named after its creator and chief engineer, Rudolf Uhlenhaut and is one of only two prototypes produced by the Mercedes-Benz racing division in 1955. According to the sellers, it is frequently referred to as the most beautiful car in the world by automotive experts and enthusiasts worldwide. The 300 SLR's engine was increased to 3 liters for sports car racing and was based on the W196R Grand Prix vehicles, which Juan Manuel Fangio drove to the two world championship titles. With a maximum speed of 180 miles per hour, the car was among the swiftest legally allowed on the road. On May 5th, an auction was held at the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart, Germany, saw the sale of the 300 SLR Uhlenhaut Coupe. According to RM Sotheby's, the winning bid for the vehicle was $142 million, making it the most expensive car ever sold. Number 2. 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO a 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO broke the previous record for the most expensive vehicle ever sold at auction back in 2018, when it was sold at auction for $48.4 million. The immaculate prancing horse was purchased at the RM Sotheby's auction in Monterey, California, where bidding began at a whopping $35 million. The seven minute long bidding saw an incremental increase, with the final hammer price coming in at $44 million, just shy of the $45 million projection. The winning bid was increased by 10% commission, resulting in an out-the-door price of $4,405,000. This specific 250 GTO, chassis number 3413 GT, was Ferrari's third creation. Phil Hill, the defending Formula One world champion, piloted it in the 1962 Targa Florio, and Gianna Bulgari drove it for the next two years. Dr. Greg Witten, a software lead at Microsoft throughout the company's rise, purchased this exact automobile in 2000. Witten raced it numerous times. Number 3. 1957 Ferrari 335 Sport Scaglietti Amazingly, a 1957 Ferrari 335 Sport Scaglietti was purchased at auction for $35,711,359. On July 12, 2013, the car was auctioned at the Art Curial Motor Cars Retromobile event. As multiple bidders competed for the chance to purchase the car, the price quickly increased from the starting bid of $22.3 million to $29 million in a matter of minutes. Ten more minutes followed before an unidentified foreign bidder placed the winning bid. The automobile has a unique history because it participated in the Sebring 12 Hours for the first time in March 1957 and placed sixth. Additionally, the car finished second in the Mille Miglia and set a record at the Le Mans 24 Hours, averaging over 200 kilometers per hour per lap. The vehicle also has Sir Sterling Moss's name attached to it, because in 1958, he used it to win the Cuban Grand Prix. Number 4. 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO The 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO that was put up for bidding during the Bonham sale at the Quail, a motorsports gathering on August 14, 2014, eventually sold for $38,115,000 breaking the previous record for the highest amount paid for a vehicle at auction. The previous record was $29,650,000 in 2013, when Juan Manuel Fangio's 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196 Formula One car was purchased. Only 39 Ferrari 250 GTOs were ever manufactured, some of which had distinguished pedigrees, making it the holy grail of collector cars. The 250 GTO was the pinnacle of Ferrari to design and engineering when it was introduced because it was both a road vehicle and a race car, adding to its uniqueness. This particular 250 GTO was the 19th produced and has been in the same family's possession since 1965. Number 5. 1956 Ferrari 290 MM at the 2015 RM Sotheby's driven by disruption sale in New York, a 1956 Ferrari 2090 MM sold for $28 million. 
Juan Manuel Frangio famously drove the car, a legitimate Scuderia Ferrari works team vehicle, to a respectable fourth place finish overall in the 1956 Mille Miglia. Now that you've seen some of the most expensive cars ever sold at auction, next let's take a look at the cars with the highest new price ever. But before we accelerate away into those supercars and mega cars, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss anything. Number 6. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail A mid-sized, luxurious coach-built Grand Tour, the Rolls-Royce Boat Tail is produced by Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. The Boat Tail, which is loosely related to the V12-powered Rolls-Royce Phantom, is inspired by ultra-luxury yachts from the 1920s and beyond, and features a bespoke body with a removable roof canopy, another level of interior finish, and what's known as a hosting suite, an opening rear deck with a parasol, upscale outdoor seating, and a champagne fridge. Three Rolls-Royce boat tails have been constructed, each completely customized by its well-off owners. The cost? Although Rolls avoids discussing the obscene amount of money, the estimate is that each one will cost between 24 and 27 million pounds, making it the most expensive car in the world. Number 7. Bugatti La Voiture Noire Some Bugattis are common or garden, and there is the Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Since it is a one-of-a-kind, the price was significantly higher than the average Chiron. Therefore, it is the second most costly car in the world. It is built on a Chiron beneath the and pays homage to a unique 1940 Type 457 Atlantic owned by Jean Bugatti, the son of the company's founder. It inexplicably disappeared while riding a train from Bordeaux to the Bugatti factory in Molsheim, France. Consider the La Voiture Noir to be costly. According to reports, Ralph Lauren turned down a $100 million bid for one of his two Type 57 Atlantics. The Bugatti La Voiture Noir is tuned to be one of a grand tourer and is 450 millimeters longer than a regular Triron. However, it still has the same 8-liter W16 quad-turbo engine that produces just under 1,500 PS, so if you flex your right foot, it'll still go quickly. Number 8. Bugatti Centodici the Centodici maintains Bugatti's 110-year track record of outstanding design and performance while bringing back memories of the company's recent past. The Centodici, which draws inspiration from the historical model, pushes the limits of creativity with its astonishing performance and innovative design. The Centodici brings the EB110 smoothly into the new millennium with its contemporary take on the traditional wedge design and legendary W16 engine. The Centodici is a genuine, palpable work of art because of the 10 limited edition car's flawless grace and sculptural beauty. A $10.5 million Bugatti limited edition was purchased by Cristiano Ronaldo. Number 9. Bugatti Devo The cost to production ratio for unique Bugattis is fairly obvious. The more expensive are, the less produced. The Devo is Bugatti's first modern coach-built vehicle. It is exquisitely produced, striking in character, rigorously limited, and has entirely different driving dynamics. It is agile and snappy and has distant handling characteristics, astounding lateral acceleration, and a unique design language. The suspension and chassis settings were changed for an even more thrilling driving experience, while the aerodynamics of the car was meticulously tweaked for extra downforce. Any Bugatti enthusiast hyper sports car collection must include the rare and incredibly powerful hyper sports car. Bugatti has produced a true work of automotive art that successfully reviews the company's long-standing coach-building legacy with its futuristic and savage design, as well as its entirely own personality and driving prowess. It costs approximately 5.4 million. Number 10. Pagani Huara Roadster BC This magnificent design, the Pagani Huara Roadster BC, ends the Bugatti tie in this ranking. It is a faster and more exclusive variant of a hypercar that was already fast and expensive. When the standard Pagani Huara was introduced, it cost only $800,000, but the Huara Roadster BC cost more than four times as much when equipped with all the bells and whistles. Why? Well, a lot has changed since the regular Huara debuted more than 10 years ago. Now you know everything about the most expensive sold cars in the world and their history. If you like videos about the richest people in luxury, Outlaw is the place to be. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Would you like to continue watching? Make sure to click on the video on the screen for more about the world's richest and most luxurious items.